Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Interviews with Entrepreneurs in South Africa. Today, I'm very exciting to, excited to be talking about this crafting trio who got together and decided to start their own business called the Creative Hobbies Hub. So, Berne, please will you introduce the business to us, tell us a little bit more about the business and how it works. Thank you for the opportunity, Melanie. We really appreciate this. So I am Bernay, and then we have Veronica. Just Veronica, wave, please. <laughs> and then we have Michelle. Michelle, wave. Say hello. Oh, there we go. Um, so the three of us know each other from a television show that we used to do for CakeNet, or that Michelle and I still do for CakeNet, um, called Kins Flight. It was a reality show, um, crafters competing against each other. And Michelle is our anchor presenter, um, and she was also the creative producer for the show. And the whole show was actually her, her brainchild to start with. I produced and um, did assistant directing on the show as well. And Veronica was one of our contestants in the second season. Okay. But when you work so hard and so closely with each other, you do tend to become friends very quickly. And all of us have got crafting um, in common as a passion. And um, for months after the show was already, um, has already aired and stuff, we started drinking coffee together. We always say crafts and coffee brought us together. <laughs> so we started drinking coffee together. And one day, the three of us sat down and we realized that there was such a need for people to be able to craft and um, receive crafting instructions and workshops. But they can't always be at a specific place on a Saturday morning at nine o'clock. And we wanted to create a model where you don't have to get a babysitter or a hubby sitter, and you can just be in your house at your own time at self-paced workshop. And when, when you're ready, you do it. If you can do it in, in intervals of three or four or five times, you do it like that. If you need to um, watch the video again and again and again and ask a lot of questions, you can do that. And that is, that is how this business started of putting craft tutoring workshops on video, on a platform where everybody, doesn't matter where you are, can access it, even if you're on your own, far on a little farm, even if you stay in Uniondale, you can also be part of a big workshop. That's <laughs> so wonderful. that's where this starts. That's wonderful. So how do people actually sign up? So what we do is our main platform form from where we work is our Facebook page. So the Creative okay. Hobbies Hub Facebook page is a very busy Facebook page and it's, it's such a lot of fun. And we advertise our workshops on this Facebook page. And then um, Michelle writes and, and creates platforms for us where people can register. So you basically click on the class that's being advertised, takes you to a page that explains everything um, in detail about the class. And then you sign up from there. That sends you an automated email with a link that takes you into a private group on Facebook. And once you access this private group on Facebook, the video is there. So the video, from the date that the video launches, the video is video on demand. So whatever time, whenever you want to watch, once you're in the group, you're always in the group. So you, there's no limit on the amount of times that you can watch that video. And okay. in, that, in that private group, you can ask questions. We answer your questions. If there's something that you don't understand, if you need alternatives, if you need advice, we answer you because we get the notifications. And as soon as those notifications come in, Veronica's on them. Veronica runs the social media site. <laughs> so she <laughs> looks after everybody on Facebook, um, all the comments, all the answers, etc. So she looks after that. So as soon as it's asked, she's on it. She knows it. She okay. has this radar, special radar for it. So she gets to the <laughs> Okay, that's and awesome. That's, how that's, that's wonderful. Thank you for clearing that up for everyone who's watching. So, Veronica, uh, how do you fill that role? Tell me more about that role that you fill in the business. Okay, so I, I have the nice job in the business. I've, I do all the creative stuff. So um, it is my responsibility to come up with new ideas and concepts um, for classes and they pretty much trust me and give me free reign. So I do, um, I make a, a couple of projects ahead of time. And then we get together and um, we discuss, you know, which ones will be most suitable for our viewers. 
And then, of course, if it's a class that includes a kit, it's also my responsibility to work out the costing and make sure that it's viable to sell as a class and um, that people will be able to afford it. So, yes, that's, that's basically, other than running the, the social media, the Facebook page, um, I do the creative work behind the scenes and come up with the new ideas and the concepts. And I love it. I really love it because... Um, um, it just stimulates my creativity and I love both of them for allowing me to do it. Um, so yes, yeah, that is my role in the business. It's like you have a whole lot of fun doing it too. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Michelle, what is your role in the business? So I basically take care of all the marketing. So that's my responsibility. I build all the platforms that people get um, to uh, get introduced to the workshops. So those platforms involve explaining everyone you know, what the workshop's about and the costing involved, and they then register on those platforms. So all those registration forms that you fill in online and all those automated emails that you get and those magic SMSs that just appear, um, I build all those platforms and, and I do all the work behind the scenes to make that happen. So that is, that's my role, is doing the, the, both the national and international marketing and campaigns and running them and managing them and trying to find new audiences for us to market to. Wow, that's very impressive, Michelle, because uh, for viewers who are watching, I met Michelle some years ago uh, when I did some articles for her magazine. So she's also a very accomplished lady in terms of uh, publishing in South Africa. So I'm very interested to hear how you've transformed yourself in this magical way into this new role. It's awesome. Well done, Michelle. And Bernay, uh, what is your role in the business? Well, first of all, I'm the one that looks after all the cell phone, the very busy creative hobbies hub cell number. So okay. all the calls and WhatsApps come through to me. So all the queries or um, everybody wanting to find out where's their parcels in during lockdown <laughs> and it's so difficult to send them out. Um, or people just wanting to know how does the business work or which workshop, workshops can I do, etc. So all of that comes through to me as well as the inbox. So I also manage the inbox. And then um, I have to manage these two creatives. I think I'm, I'm a little bit of an admin person, <laughs> keeping the creatives together. Um, I'm also directing our videos. So when we're shooting videos and when we're putting videos together, um, although during lockdown, Veronica's done a splendid job of doing her own videos, amazing, because we, the crew could not come together. But from my background as being a producer and the director of TV shows, that's basically my biggest role, producing and directing in this company as well. Because the admin gets a lot and um, we really try and stay on top of all the admin at all times. And that everybody that's querying um, or that's got a query or that's got a question gets the answer as soon as possible. That's so an amazing that's a, service. A more administrative, yeah. Do you ever get a... a phone calls and things coming in very late at night all the time because i think maybe crafters are insomniacs yes. so i've had to get a separate cell phone and that cell phone stays in the office with a message that says sunny after five we're not really working <laughs> but i can help you but it's especially those calls coming in at 12 o'clock and one o'clock at night that i think we're not answering tomorrow morning first thing i'll help you but not in the middle of the night but yeah they do that but that's very reasonable. Behind, yeah, that's the idea behind our classes. Once you're in the in the group, the private group, and you can't sleep, and it's one o'clock at night, or if the only time you can do crafts is between one and three o'clock at night, it's there for you. You can yes. access the video, you can watch the workshop, you can ask your questions. If Veronica's awake, which often happens, and she's got insomnia for the night, for the night, she answers them that time of the night. Otherwise, tomorrow <laughs> morning, first thing, we answer your, your question for you. But um, it's video on demand. Whenever, whatever time you want to watch, you do that. Wow, it's such a beautiful business model, and you three look like you're having so much fun. So, <laughs> Veronica, what is your favorite part of the job? 
Um, I don't even know why you're asking me this. It's creating <laughs> the license. <laughs> yes, no, it is. It's really, um, you know, when, when I started doing art full time, um, I used many years ago, I used to sketch in charcoal and paint with oils. And then life happened and, and I had to work. So um, four or five years ago, when, when I ventured into full time art again, um, I struggled a bit to, to um, find a voice. I did not want to work in oil or charcoal anymore. So I stumbled across mixed media and um, I really started doing that and I really enjoy it because it allows you to work with almost every single art medium there is mm -hmm. or craft medium and um, it's it's really it opens up a whole new world for you and um, I also think uh, I'm very um, um, creative and um, imaginative that's the word I was looking for so um, you know when when you work with just one thing the whole time I get bored and I get frustrated so um, doing this business of course I have my art business and I sculpt in, in in textiles and that is my my artistic voice but this business allows me to stimulate that other creativity inside me that wants to do everything um, and um, yes, because as an artist, if you want, if you try to do everything at the same time, you confuse people because just when you've created something and you move on to something new, then they, they don't know you. They, you know, they think, is this the same person? Because just now she painted faces, now she's doing something else. So yes, I can focus on my, on my um, artistic um, voice with my sculpting but this I love this business because it allows me to do that other part where I can do anything I can work with any medium and um, you know it stimulates that creativity inside me so yes that's what I love about this and I love the people I love teaching the people and I love conversing with them on social media so yes and I love my partners as well uh, we are really good friends awesome. So, so you've, you've actually found a way to structure some permission to explore other things that you wouldn't normally be yes. able to justify. Yes, yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. it's perfect. This works perfect for me because I can do my art thing and I can do this. And yes. this stimulates my creativity um, in ways that you cannot imagine. So I'm very happy with this business. Oh, yay. That's so wonderful. And Michelle, what is your favorite part of your job? Uh, I think the challenges around the, the technical side of things and, and finding, we do a variety of workshops. So it's not just a, a matter of targeting the same people all the time and getting them to join classes. Um, we're doing a, a textile class next month. So that's gonna change the entire structure of what we do because we've never done that before. Um, and then we do mixed media workshops and we did a sculpting workshop last month. And it's about finding those people and bringing the workshops to the people that would actually like to do them. And also to, to know that we're introducing these workshops to people that normally wouldn't do that. You know, um, mm. I think with the lockdown, it's given us the advantage of people doing workshops online. Traditionally, they wouldn't do that. You know, they would like to attend a workshop in person. And mm. this has kind of pushed everyone into exploring the idea of doing something online. And we've had so many people saying, you know, we've never done something like this before. We love it. Mm. Um, and it's my job to, to make sure that they get the information and to make sure that they receive everything that they need and, and that they know all the different workshops that we do offer. So I think that is, a, is quite a challenging, um, challenging side of the business, but it's something that I really enjoy. That's wonderful. Now, I speak to a lot of online course creators who say they find it challenging to get people to actually sign up. They create wonderful courses, but the people aren't actually signing up. So what do you think your secret is to getting people to commit and mm -hmm. sign up to your courses? Well, I think there are a lot of different... Um, I've done a lot of training. As you mentioned before, I was traditionally in publishing. And with the, the entire publishing industry kind of changing and evolving, I needed to find a way 
to introduce crafts on, a, on an online platform and an online way. So that pushed me into discovering these areas. And I've done a lot of training, a lot, a lot of training through very, very amazing people, um, both locally and internationally. And I've done so many different courses. And I think the secret to our business and to our business model is the fact that I'm not just relying on one person's opinion of how to attract people and how to advertise and how to do things. I've done so many different courses through so many different people that, um, you know, we try, we experiment and we try different things until we find the platform that, that we, we find successful. I think also the fact that I've been in a crafting industry and craft environment for so many years, I really do understand the people that, uh, that, that want to do these workshops. I understand mm. what they look for, what their interests are, um, what they'd like to do and not do. So I think mm. that sort of knowledge is something that you can't buy. Um, mm. It's something that you, you've acquired through experience. And I think those are all advantages, um, especially a, along with the show that we've done. You know, that has again given us a whole different platform of introducing people to crafts. You know, we've mm. never done anything on television before. So we've mm. done printed media, then we did television, and now we're doing online. So we have a lot of different areas that we can feed from mm. to get our target audience. And I think that's our success. Mm. Okay, so I have just been notified that we are getting towards the end of our time. So Bernay, if you can tell me what's your favorite part of uh, this business and your role in the business? I think, um, well, it's the creative. I'm also a creative person and I just love the project and also doing the project and you, you keep on learning. But to me, I think the biggest thing is the people and the therapy that goes with it. There's a lot of art therapy happening through the craft workshops. Um, we get to speak to a lot of people. Um, we can pick up the frustration of the lockdown. We can pick up the, the role that the crafts and the arts are playing um, and in eliminating anxiety and stress and fear. And we get to connect with people, especially um, when it was a 21 days lockdown and everybody was really inside their houses and you didn't see another person. There was a community that formed of people doing the same thing and hearing each other. Nobody was alone. You got onto a platform and other people listened to you and realized you were there as well. And we shared anxiety and fears and helped people and gave structure to a day. And so that therapy part that comes through is, is amazing. And just seeing how much it means to people and how excited people are getting and how people are crafting and spending me time and doing something for themselves that is nice because now they can make the time for it because it's not a structured time that has to fit into their busy diaries. So the excitement around it that we're creating worldwide, it's amazing in New York and Australia, sending us pictures of their final products. It's just, it's, that makes me very excited. Oh, yay. So thank you so much to all of you ladies for giving of your time today to do this wonderful interview. I know I certainly feel totally inspired after talking to all of you. And um, I'm certain that a bunch of people watching are going to feel the same. So thank you very much for your time today. I appreciate hearing thank from you. you. And maybe we'll schedule a follow up for a couple of months time if you'd like to do that. Yes, thank you. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.